I'm Jane Burnett and I'm a CNBC social media intern this summer. If you're in college like me, you probably spent a lot of time thinking about how you're going to pay off your student loans. In 2013, 60% of graduates of American colleges and universities had some form of student debt. That was according to a report by the Institute for College Access and Success. In 2013, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau also reported that the amount of total federal student loan debt shot to $1 trillion. We're right here in the CNBC newsroom with CNBC's very own personal finance and senior commodities correspondent, Sharon Epperson. She's going to give us her take on what it's like paying off student debt in the digital world we live in. Thanks for joining us, Sharon. It's great to be here. Thanks. Okay, so my first question is, what mistakes do people commonly make when managing their student debt? I think the biggest mistakes that young people make managing debt, that everyone makes managing debt, is actually coming with a, up with a plan on how they're going to spend their money, save their money, and pay off those bills. And I think it really starts very simply with having a strategy of what money is coming in, what money needs to go out, and keeping a record of the dates that you need to do it and making sure that whatever has the highest interest rate that you're paying that off first. One of my favorite tools for managing money is Mint.com and I like it as a great budgeting tool and I think it really helps a lot of people figure out the categories that they use the most and make sure that they come up with a good budget on that but then also for when it comes time to pay those debts to make sure that you have a time frame that's set up of when those payments are due and Mint.com is great about helping you keep record of when those are going to be coming due and what impact so that you can figure out what impact that's going to have longer term on your savings and on your spending habits. So any advice that you have for people who are still in college, you know, millennials, basically in college now that want to pay off their loans as efficiently as possible once graduation day passes? Well, one of the other things that I would say in addition to Mint.com in terms of managing money mm -hmm. is to make sure that you're signed up for all of the online and the social media tools that can help you through your own bank. And uh, that's just, that could be online tools that will alert you of when you have a certain balance or when a payment's due. You can do it via text also. And then if you're on their social media, then maybe you can find out when there might be some things that are coming up, promotional things within that financial services company. So that's something that I would strongly recommend. Debt management is a reality for many college grads. No digital tool is perfect, but combined with the right advice, the payback process can become easier. Again, I'm Jane Burnett. For more on this topic, head over to CNBC.com and check out my article on the ways that people are paying off their student debt using technology.